the Rudges Up fam. If you're new here, my name is Terry Ann, or T.A., and I'm a Connecticut-based lifestyle YouTuber, and you are watching my channel. This is my husband, Mike. Hey. That's our daughter, Penny. And today is Monday, July 31st, 2023. Okay. And it is a big day because today we finally close on our first house. Uh, so it's closing day and we are pretty excited about it. It is 6.30 in the morning right now and we are headed to drop Penny off at my mom's so that we can head to the attorney's office um, and sign the papers and then kind of get the whole closing process started, uh, like doing the final walkthrough and everything. It's been a long time coming. We've seen many, many houses over the past six months. I think, what, do we count like 20? Yeah, I think it was just exactly 20. We saw 20 houses in six months. Uh, we put in seven offers. Seven offers. Counting the one that we got accepted. This is the seventh offer that was accepted. Um, and yeah, <laughs> it's been it's been a long time coming and it feels really good to finally kind of like be here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well today. Yeah, it's been a long process. I, I was going to say. This wasn't our seventh accepted offer. This was our seventh offer in total. Only one has been accepted. The, yeah. And I only say that because I know some people in the process have multiple accepted and, and a few fall through. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be the worst. Like I, yeah. I'm i not a fan of all the stuff we went through, but at least we didn't have to go through that heartache. That I'm sure some people have had to do when like something just falls through with the house. Yeah, To yeah, exactly. To go We've through all of this. We've been pretty nervous this whole time because yeah. like when your offer is accepted there's still like essentially a month or more uh like of a process in terms of getting like the mortgage and getting everything you know done and in that time anything could happen and you could still not get the house so you could find yeah. something wrong with it the seller could just decide oh i can't find my own house it just it's a it's a yeah if thing. you have like a seller uh finding their home if that's a contingency that you agree to that that could happen um so it, a lot of things could have happened in this time frame and we were very like cautious cautiously optimistic about this whole thing so for it to actually be closing day and nothing have gone wrong so yeah. far is pretty good but even literally up until we sign the papers and we get the keys something could go wrong and we could not get the house yep uh, but right now it's looking pretty good that this is our home yeah um, so we just woke Penny up which is not something parents usually do we woke her up out of her sleep so that we could drop her off and yeah we're just gonna go get this very hectic day started we have stuff packed in the car it's like our day one boxes it's essentially all the things that like once we get the keys we're just gonna immediately move into the house and um, just have it in the house because we can just move it in um, so the car has been packed Mike packed that last night and we are just we're pretty we're pretty stoked so let's get on this journey together are signed and um, we are back uh, we stopped by my sister's house to see Penny mm -hmm. and now we're gonna get some lunch and then head over to the house for the walkthrough it's 1230 now and the walkthrough is at 1 mm -hmm. um, I'm not really feeling the best but hopefully lunch will help I'm excited to see the house again in person we haven't seen the house in person since June 25th or something like that yeah something like that I'm trying to think of the day too yeah June 25th 26th so it's going to be surreal because we've just been looking at pictures of it every day basically since um, so it's going to be crazy to see it in person okay guys so it is hours later our walkthrough was at 1 p.m. and it's 3 18 now yep. um, it's not what we were hoping for yeah <laughs> for sure it's not um so there were some issues uh some of them were minor um like they left a couple like a few things that we told them not to leave and i don't even care about that we anymore. don't even care about that anymore that's kind of like the the smallest thing on the list there were some other things that were like more substantial like they took curtain rods out that were in the walls and the house is an old house so the walls are plaster 
and plaster like cracks and pulls and everything so we do have some cracks in the plaster which is fine and that was there before and that's just old homes settling um, but when they removed some of the curtain rods they just tore out chunks yeah. of the wall so they're just like holes and like like huge holes in the wall in three rooms um for sure three yeah yeah in the in the main bedroom yep. in the playroom one of the, one of the and rooms. The, one of the living rooms yep. so uh, and then they did not have enough fire detect smoke detectors yep. or car carbon monoxide detectors yeah and i guess usually what happens is that they'll give us a credit off the bat but they actually send an affidavit saying that everything worked so now we need to get a credit for them to yep. so that we can put in the appropriate amount of carbon monoxide detectors and smoke detectors so we are um our attorneys are talking to their attorneys and we're trying to get like a credit right yeah so that we can get these things resolved the hope is and correct me if i'm wrong if i'm wrong the understanding is we're still closing today yeah um, they're gonna probably well we sent a number that we think is enough to cover what we saw was wrong today mm -hmm. they'll probably counter with a much lower number or no number and then we'll have to go from there and figure it out okay that's what'll happen all right um so. so basically that's where we're at right now um and while we don't have the keys right now and this is what i was saying earlier it was just like you never know yep. what's gonna happen so we don't have the keys we just did our final walkthrough we do not have the keys right now we're gonna leave, we're gonna go back to my sister's house, I think. Yeah. Wait to hear back from the attorneys, and then once we kind of have some word from the attorneys, we'll come back, we'll get the keys, and we'll close based on our decisions, mm -hmm. so. Hey everyone, so as you can see, we are back at our apartment now. It is 6.30 p.m. And basically, like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Basically, it's like, it's not quite worst case scenario, but I think we kind of said throughout in many videos leading up to closing day that anything can happen and nothing is official until we sign the papers. And I think what happened today is just very indicative of that. So um, like I caught you guys up in the car, we did the final walkthrough, we saw the issues and um, currently, it's 6.30 p.m. right now, and we have not closed on the house. It is still not our house. <laughs> we still have not purchased the house. <laughs> we thought, like I said in the last clip, that it would definitely get resolved today and that we would definitely close today, but that is not the case. Our attorney is in contact with their attorney, and um, we are basically waiting for them. We're basically waiting for them to finalize um, or come up with a decision on how they want to move forward with addressing the issues that we called out that we noticed during the during the final walkthrough. So until we know how we're going to move forward, we can't sign. Well, we already signed, but we won't finalize everything and let them cash the check, right? So that's where we are right now. We're just waiting to hear back. And then um, I'm thinking, what? what is it? I would be shocked if we didn't hear back and close by tomorrow, but really anything is possible at this point. Um, but the expectation is that we're going to close tomorrow instead. Um, so this is a little bit inconvenient because we kind of have a very tight turnaround time and we had things very planned. We were very like meticulous and on top of things. So we assumed we actually would be closing today. We obviously signed the papers so early this morning thinking we'd get everything done super early and be able to like work through all that stuff. Um, and so we like scheduled like the locksmith for tomorrow. We scheduled the internet people for tomorrow. I set the day off tomorrow so that I could be in the house 
and make sure that those people had access to the house but we had to cancel all that because I technically don't even have access to the house we don't have the keys it's not my house so I can't have I can't be there and have people there even though the house is totally empty and the other people have moved out it's not legally ours and um, on top of that this can't be dragged out too long because like I said before we're we obviously didn't know we were gonna find a house it was kind of getting to a place where we didn't think we were gonna find a house and we were gonna meet our deadline and so we have our baby moon booked and we're leaving for Florida on Thursday so tomorrow's Tuesday so <laughs> we kind of need to get this figured out tomorrow Mom! Um, and then hopefully have a little bit of time on Wednesday to kind of like move some things in. You know, we kind of had this just kind of these expectations that we'd be able to move some things in and things like that. And none of that is obviously going to be working out in the timeline that we expected. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you don't find the shoes. I don't wanna break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality.